and Upper News in there. Housing exhibition to offer options to low to middle income earners. Security reform on track and minus call for the removal of GGMC land manager. News in depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News in depth I'm Eva Wharton. Thanks for joining us. First up, government unveils plans for a housing exhibition, which offers several options to low to middle income earners. Select -like contractors gathered today at the Ministry of Communities to sign an agreement with the Central Housing and Planning Authority for the development of model homes, which will be displayed in the Housing Solutions 2017 and Beyond exhibition in May. CHNPA has decided to engage in what we call Housing Solutions 2017 and Beyond. It's a housing exhibition that will be held at our Perseverance location where we have the 1,000 home project, turnkey project. This um, exhibition will give exhibitors or house, um, housing developers an opportunity to showcase their product. The 14 companies are expected to complete low to moderate income homes within an eight week period, after which they will have six months to sell the homes. We will be having on site 10 low income houses in this exhibition, five moderate income and eight middle income houses. That's what those will be built by the exhibitor and CHMPA will be building six duplexes and we're also going to be building two. More news on the other side of this break. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, mama, I ain't going to get a lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it's going to be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Welcome back. Security reform in Guyana is on track, says British High Commissioner to Guyana. Funded security sector reform project is moving ahead as UK advisor Russell Crowe met with key officials to fast track the project. Crowe was introduced to members of the media today at a press conference called by the British High Commissioner to Guyana. The security sector reform advisor said he will be looking at key areas including the reform of the security defense strategy and securing the border against smuggling and trafficking. Looking at um, a security and sort of defence strategy, um, uh, sort of a reform programme, what that might include, and we'll also uh, hopefully come up with some fairly early wins in terms of actions which uh, can be done uh, during the course of this year. Uh, we, we and he and everybody involved in the project um, are very keen that this does not become uh, another piece of paper or worthy document which gets done and gets sit and then sits on a shelf. Um, we are very keen to ensure that what Russell does is actually uh, start delivery and start advising on potential changes uh, to make uh, the security sector more efficient and, and more effective. 
The British government is also lending its expertise to the Special Organized Crime Unit. Dr. Sam Settlington was brought back to Guyana at the request of the Ministry of Public Security and has spent time working with the Special Organized Crime Unit to ensure that the changes have been made as per previous recommendations. According to the Commissioner, Settlington also hopes that SOCU will be able to investigate and prepare strong cases that will stand up in court. Morning. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Thank you, Mommy. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol, Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich, and creamy, Abbey is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Nothing compares to the class and beauty of Beeson windows and doors. Engineered by professionals and built to last longer than the competition. Buy 10 windows and get one 24 by 16 bathroom window absolutely free. No tricks, no gimmicks, and no hidden fees. Prices starting from 135 VAT inclusive. So visit our showroom today at lot 1228 New Eccles Industrial Site or BPAT's building on Regent Street and save big on UPVC or aluminum windows. To order now, call 622 4197 or 226 1292. Miners call for the removal of the GGMC land management officer. Small miners from Perico, Bartik and Caro are calling for an inquiry into the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission. A thorough investigation into the land management division, the removal of the head of that division, and for all lands issued to the president of the Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association in the name of small miners to be cancelled. A motion was moved on Saturday when Junior Natural Resources Minister Simona Brooms met with Perico Morris Syndicate Group at the Grove Community Center in Perico. We've had quite a lot of stories. <laughs> Second come first sort of kind of stories. Um, those are, I guess, the more typical ones that, that we hear, not first come first sort. Um, and again, based on the unfair access uh, by some to certain information. The another motion I'd like to move is that the blocks given to the GDDMA should be repossessed because these blocks were given under the understanding that they were to be of use to small miners, of use and benefit to small miners. They are not of use and benefit to small miners, not now, and they were never intended to be because they are for the use of the the um, landlords in the GGDMA and I'm like, moving a motion that they be taken away from them. The meeting was part of the government's initiative to set up syndicates, which will pave the way for miners to get equal opportunity to mine. Brooms reminded the residents, many of whom are miners, that the syndicate is a way of bringing people to work together, empowering themselves and provide for their families. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again, same time tomorrow for another edition.